Driving Test UK, the short notice driving test specialist. Lloyd is just about to start his driving test at the Borumwood Driving Test Centre. Prior to getting inside the vehicle, the driving examiner has checked his photocard provisional driving license and has conducted an eyesight test. He has also asked Lloyd two show me tell me questions regarding the vehicle safety. The driving examiner has asked Lloyd to turn right at the end of the car park. Having turned right onto Stirling Way, the driving examiner has asked Lloyd to turn right at the end of this road. Having turned right, the driving examiner has given no further instructions as we are entering a dual carriageway and it is only possible to turn to turn left. This is the A1, the Barnet Bypass. The driving examiner has now instructed us to leave the dual carriageway at the next available exit. The driving examiner has now asked us to turn right at the roundabout. This is the second exit. Bear in mind the driving test is there to see how safe you are. Take your time when going through with restrictions. This is Newark Green. At the mini roundabout the driving examiner has instructed us to turn left. That's the first exit. Having turned left, the driving examiner has asked Lloyd to stop safely on the left. During the driving test, the examiners will ask you to stop on the left somewhere conveniently safe at least three or four times.
there should be a there should be no pressure to stop quickly. Take your time and select a safe place to stop, making sure that you do not stop on anyone's drive. When moving off, make sure you look all around, especially over the blind spot, the right shoulder. The driving examiner did not give any instructions at all on approach the mini roundabout. Therefore, Lloyd has continued to go straight. At the very beginning of the driving test, the examiners will say that they would like you to follow the road ahead unless road signs or road markings indicate otherwise or unless they ask you to do so. The driving examiner has now instructed Lloyd to turn right at the roundabout, this being the third exit. We are now in Ripon Way. These residential roads seem very easy but they can easily become very tricky. You need to keep an eye on those mirrors and be prepared to give way to oncoming vehicles. At the roundabout, the driving examiner has now instructed Lloyd to turn left, the first exit. Having turned left into Crane's Way, the driving examiner has instructed Lloyd once again to stop on the left somewhere conveniently safe. This is the start of the independent driving section of the driving test. The driving examiner has instructed Lloyd to turn left at the end of this road and then to follow the signs marked Barnet. The driving examiner has asked Lloyd to repeat the instructions so he knows that they are fully understood.
Lloyd has now just turned left into Furs Hill Road. He now has to follow the signs marked Barnet. During the independent driving section of the test, if you feel that you have missed a sign or you have any doubt as to where you are going, you can ask the examiners for confirmation. They will help you. You will not fail the driving test for us asking the examiner for confirmation during the independent driving section of the driving test. We are still following the signs marked Barnet. Watching road signs and road markings is vital during the independent driving section. The driving examiner has just informed Lloyd that the independent driving section of the test has now come to an end. From now the driving examiner will give directions as normal. Lloyd has now been asked to take the first road on the right. This is Barnet Gate Lane. Watching road signs and road markings is very important. Currently the speed limit is 30 miles per hour due to the street lighting.
The road now becomes Mays Lane. It is still a 30 mile per hour road due to the street lighting. As there is no pavement, keep an eye out for pedestrians. Remember to keep frequently checking the mirrors. The driving examiner has now asked Lloyd to take the next road on the left. This is Nepton Drive. We have just turned right into Stanhope Road. The examiner has asked Lloyd to pull up on the left, fairly close to the driver in front. This is for the purpose of the angle start. Even though the examiner says stop fairly close, make sure that you can see the tyres so that you can easily move off and safely. The driving examiner has now asked us to take the next road on the right. Lloyd has been asked to pull up on the left immediately before the junction. This is for the purpose of the reverse corner exercise. The driving examiners will always stop you before the junction so you can assess what type of junction it is, whether you need to steer slowly because it's a round corner or whether you need to steer sharply and quickly because it's a very sharp corner. Bear in mind you need to look all around before moving off to do the reverse round the corner and then look all around again before starting to reverse.
During this exercise, the driving examiner is marking you on two things. The first is control over the vehicle. And the second is observations. So if you keep stopping every few seconds and look all around, you will have full control and you'll be aware of your surroundings. If necessary, you can go forward to correct any mistakes. Now that the reverse corner has been completed, the driving examiner has asked Lloyd to drive off and turn right at the end of the road. Once again, make sure you check your right blind spot before moving off. We are back in Dexter Road. At the end of this road, the driving examiner has asked us to turn right onto Stanhope Road. Lloyd will be turning left at the end of this road. This is Chesterfield Road. Even though it is our, our priority at the crossroads, do have a glance into the road before proceeding. Chesterfield Road has now become Trinidad Road.
Bear in mind the whole driving test is there to see how safe you are. If you ever come across a situation where you are not sure what you should do, always do what you feel is a safer option. On these narrow residential roads of Boham Wood, it is most important that you keep checking the mirrors and be prepared to give way to oncoming vehicles if necessary. At the end of this road, the driving examiner has asked Lloyd to turn right. This is Barnet Road. We have just turned left onto Galley Lane. Bear in mind, in the absence of street signs, the speed limit would be 30 miles per hour. The speed limit has just changed to national speed limit. The national speed limit on a single carriageway is 60 miles per hour. However, that does not mean that you have to drive at 60. All speed limits are limits and not targets. You need to drive according to the road and traffic conditions.
Always drive at a speed at which you can stop within the distance you can see to be clear. On these country lanes, you never know what to expect. Horses, pedestrians, tractors and even huge potholes. Country lanes are not as well maintained as town residential roads. The driving examiner has just asked Lloyd to turn left. We are now on the A1, heading towards central London. The driving examiner has asked us to leave the carriageway at the next available exit. At the, roundabout, at the roundabout, the driving examiner has asked us to turn left, first exit. Remember, there is no rushing through the width restrictions.
We have just turned left into Thamesford Avenue. At the end of this road, we will be turning left and then immediately right. We are now on Nicol Way. At the end of this road, we will be turning left. This is Ripon Way. Shortly, we will be turning right onto Stirling Way and then back into the driving test centre car park. To enter the car park, you need to insert a code. The code is available on your driving test confirmation letter. If you can have somebody, your friend, or a driving instructor waiting for you to enter the code that will make it easier for you to enter the car park. Hello, my name is Charlie. I'm the voice behind the video. Firstly, big congratulations to Lloyd on passing his driving test. Did you know that Bohemwood Driving Test Centre has a pass rate of below 50%? Why not improve your chances of passing the driving test by watching these unknown secret videos? Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your driving test.